Hey guys, it's Lazarix, and welcome back to another episode of Hackers. Uh, yeah, we got a new design here. I'm not going to talk about it too much because it hasn't been hacked yet, so uh, I don't really know how well it will do. Hopefully, uh, it will cause some troubles for people, but I want to show you something, uh, some interesting replays. This one, we brought the worm back with us and it did really well now this network is uh, pretty basic it's just got it, your usual um, trap here and then the two code gates in front of your storages um, but I wanted to see if we could utilize the worms um, just clean up ability for us no not it's not really what it's for but that's what I'm using it for um, and it worked out really well so I was getting slowed up on this just like normal um, but behind us the worm is just doing its work uh, and it did really really well uh, and this just went over really way well. like we just wiped out all his security defenses and we moved up we still got two minutes left and there's not a lot left so the worm is already caught up to us here it's going to the black ice there and it's moving right along quite quickly I don't know if they tweak the time that it uh, duplicates itself but it did help us in this situation so breaking through the code gates just fine and this guy's got a ton of V coins and a lot of money too so it was a pretty lucky find for us and here we can see the worm is now at the front lines it caught right up with us helping out a lot and this guy is pretty much done for so there it is like 1600 B coins that's huge that helps us a lot that's exactly what I was looking for and now we just got to get the database he did have some in his server farms and data mines but the real money in B coins are in the storages um, it was pretty cool to see the worm work so well for us in this um, hack there we go big money um, so I might try to find more ways to use it and uh, maybe do some upgrades on it that would be really cool if we could use start using that more because I kind of like using it to be honest or adding more programs to our set of programs already so Jack attacked us here with a portal another person um, which is one of the reasons why I changed my base up or the network design up a little bit and it seems that it was his first time using the portal because you'll see here in a second um, he's waiting for it to install but then he clicks on the code gate um, if you don't know the only uh, program that will extend to another node is the access program uh, so the wraith and the portal stealth programs like that won't reach to another node that's connected to it uh, when it's installed only the access program will do that it seems like that he thought it would I don't know why he's level 27 so uh, not sure what he was thinking uh, so anyways, so we got lucky there. He wasn't able to break through our code gate And that's gonna cause some problems for him. It's gonna take a lot of time Although he has no resistance because my sentries were right next to each other. I Did fix that in the new design um, It seems that he's trying to get over to this direction, but he's getting a uh, He's catching some flack from our trap there, if you want to call it that. 
I'm just gonna start calling it a trap or a web or whatever. Um, or a blockade. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. So, I have this set up right here. So, we got three um, nodes that'll attack it with the antivirus. Uh, but, you'll see that the antivirus from the code gate isn't actually working. And that's because the wraith just completely takes it out. So, that's something you may want to keep in mind if you're using the wraith in your hacks is that if you use it um, say something's just like this where there's like a string of nodes and there's a sentry right before the string of nodes you can use the wraith on the sentry or the node after it or something like that you know um, and the antivirus cannot spread past a node that has installed a wraith on it so um, that worked out well for him except for he couldn't get past that scanner setup so he only got 40,000 although it looks like he was just going for money because um, there wasn't a lot of b-coins to begin with so that worked out well for us he didn't get too much reputation from that because he only finished one of the requirements and yeah just some normal stuff happening we're getting attacked by krakens um, so this is on my new network here actually so I do want to show you this uh, we got hacked while my I had like 500,000 gold like what was it 5,000 B coins wait, wait 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 let me show you real quick how much was available to him? Let me pause it. 118,000, 1,000 V-Coins. So yeah. Was not playing around. Um, I was saving up to upgrade the code gate. Which I did get done. So that's good. Um, they, uh, they used three Krakens on a network like mine where the core is not in the very back so they he does have 12 ice walls two protectors and two blasters so certainly has enough to get through but we'll see i wonder what happens crack in there ice wall no protector though where's the protector Unless they're just going for the core. But that would be weird. Why would you just go for the core? If they were just going for the core, they could attack people who um, were their cores at the start of their network. Alright, they got the blaster on there. Oh, so I see. They didn't think they needed to put it on there. I see. They're going to save it to when they get over here. So in my last network, there was one trap. Now there's two. I'm utilizing both scanners here with the two black ice and here with the um, three turrets. Uh, I think this works a lot better. Minute 20 left. He's not making it very far. You'll see that... Uh, oops. You'll see that... The blaster isn't enough to get through these high level code gates. Um, their blaster is only level 2, mine's level 3. So it could be a reason why it's taking so long. As well as he's got a worm on there, and the worm does not do as much damage as the beam cannon. That would be a better choice. So really relying heavily on the worms, but it needs just does not have enough time so it looks like he's just gonna go for the b-coin mines see how much he gets from it you gonna get anything if, yeah nothing because I was just online so I mean you can tell if there's like a lot in their storage or their b-coin mines is because if this glass is empty and there's like a thousand five hundred b-coins then <laughs> 
clearly all the B-Coins are in the mines. Alright, there we go. So I'm really excited to have this upgraded. Uh, it's been a long time since I've gotten the, or, uh, the code gate upgraded. It was much needed. Um, hopefully I'll have time today to start uh, developing the portal program. That's really exciting. I keep getting hacked by it. It's really irritating. Um, and usually they're always really successful. Uh, it's a little risky though if you can get sandwiched in between uh, the nodes while using the portal program. So that's something to keep in mind. But we'll have to uh, spend some time using it to get better with it. All right, 50,700 B-Coins. That's awesome. And I got a lot of programs with me this time. So let's see what we can do with them all. I got, I took two shurikens. Just, I just threw them in there. <laughs> really, there's no real reason I took them. Um, we got the worm working for us back there. And um, I think I'm just going to throw on the... I'm just going to throw on the battering ram just to uh, get things going because I don't want to waste time here. It does take a long time to get through the code gate. Um, and I should have brought along... Oh wow, it's already down. I should have brought along a uh, wraith. That would have been really easy to get. But it takes 15 minutes to uh, develop the wraith. So uh, yeah, skip that. And we'll just use the battery ram, which takes 10 minutes. Alright. And just gotta wait for that turret to go down. Usually the protector can handle two. Wow, that took that way down quickly. Can it hold it? No, it can't. Okay. Um, yeah, the protector can take on two, uh, two different security nodes and be just fine. You don't really have to worry about it. And the rest is history there. I hate that it uh, goes for the core. I wish it would just continue going forward and then come back to the core. Minute 20 left. Not bad. This might be a problem. Yes? No? Yes. So I'm going to take off that turret and then throw on the battering ram. All right, here we go. Minute left. Remember, this is this is worth it because he has a lot of B coins and uh, even more money. And I I think a lot of the money will be in uh, his server farm there. Look how look how stacked that thing is. All right, so I took off the battering ram to add a beam cannon to make it go faster because we only got 30 seconds left. I'm going to throw on all those. Let's see, let's see. And bam. Okay. Like 4,000. So that uh, that storage does seem really upgraded. That database storage. Here we go. And we're on to it. Almost there. We already have 9,000. And boom, 40,000. Put all on all those, and we got it. Did we? We did, all right. That was like last millisecond. That was perfect. Plus 13. I'm not pushing this episode um, because the reason why I'm not pushing is what do I have upgrading in here? Oh yeah, guys, we got the portal. That's so awesome. I'm super hyped for this. Next episode is going to be a riot because we're just going to be hacking everybody. But it does take 22 hours, so we'll see if I can uh, see if it'll be done in time and then I can record an episode with with it. So uh, maybe one attack in the episode. We'll see what I have time for. But yes. We got it. The portal. In 22 hours, anyway. Um, and our code gate finished level 5. Level 6, it turns gold. 
Um, that would be really cool to have that because that would be really intimidating to people who want to attack our base. Uh, I'm going to do this one off camera uh, between episodes and that way we can spend some time um, doing this, using that, getting better with it, see what we come up with. And yes, also my new network has been holding up let's check this out I haven't watched this one yet let's see here so my code gate wasn't upgrading at the time um, whoa he's only got wait what happened here oh I see he doesn't have all his programs only 17 5 4 and 2 yeah so it seems like he went after my network. Um, yeah, so we don't need to watch that. But how much was available? Two thousand three hundred B coins. That's crazy. Wow. So uh, you may have been thinking, just in case you guys think that I uh, used credits, bought some credits. That's why they're down a little bit. No, I didn't buy credits. I did it legit. Check it out. I did stealth hacks. A thousand B coins. A thousand, a thousand B coins again. Nearly two thousand. So, yes. I did it legit. Um, on the stealth hacks. If you do want to see one, I'll show you real quick. Um, yeah, this, this one will work. So I just quick ran in with my stealth programs, grabbed the cash, wait where am I going here, oh that's right because I had to go up and down here to get to the back, and to his storages, which didn't have a lot in it, so that actually saved me time, and I was able to get it all just like that, and I got storages here, boom money in the bank bitcoins in the bank we got it so that's all i have for this episode like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe to see the next one where we haul out the portal i'll see you guys next time